new upcoming traders, definitely pay attention. Pay attention. Take fucking notes. If you don't take notes after this video, you're slacking and you're not going to be like profiting inside a market like how you expect because this is not easy. Okay? So take notes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. I'll be going over a few things that I use personally um, on trading. I don't use nothing crazy. I don't try to use nothing crazy. All I use is supply and demand, fibs, and harmonics if I see a potential pattern, um, price action, and support and resistance, and that's about it. All right, so to kick this thing off, I'm just going to first show you how I draw support and resistance, mainly, okay? So first things first, I draw it from the wicks. The wicks is basically the highest price points that the market tries to reach. Um, it would, once again, try, try to actually reach that point again. Um, so first thing I do, do, do some markups. Get all the wicks ready. All right, so wick, wick, wick. Actually, I'll put it right here previous one wick and put one down here wick and wick all right so that's just a few matter of fact um it's like a lot more but i mean like this is just basically the concept okay so for instance I would have took this right here mainly because it didn't close over this this um res resistance actually it, it didn't close over it and normally when it doesn't close over it actually as far as create a brand new candle over it like if it did this and then a new candle was formed over it then it would have been some different or thing but this will happen right here the market it came up it closed like halfway over it and this next candle it shot down always if it does this trust me you could take the sell you could take the sell guarantee guarantee i promise you on this if it breaks through on one full candle the in the next candle it spikes back down it's still a downtrend you know what i'm saying it's, it's, it's not even like a downtrend but you, but you can still take that sell and still make profit from it you know what i'm saying and you you seeing this right here and everything the main thing you will always, always main, um, look for is a retest. Always look for a retest in any single thing that you're doing. All right, so, and if it came down to like, let's say this pattern right here, let me mark this off real quick. Let's go in five minutes. Um, try to zoom out as far back. All right, so up here. Okay, so what happened here is basically it was retested from its own newfound resistance. So when when the market came up, it came up came up again. It did the retest, retested one more time, and then dropped. So basically, it tried to break through, but then again, it respected resistance. The wicks, remember, always wicks, always wicks, always wicks. Look at look at your wicks. Trust me, it's, it's a big change. So if I seen this right here, if, if none of this even existed yet, all this didn't even exist yet, I would have marked off my wicks first, and then wait for a retest. The market always retest wicks, always retest wicks. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to actually keep the the, the wicks that you draw in a five minute chart in your in your whole chart. You know what I'm saying? So like. The main chart that you draw it on is the hour chart. Hour chart, four hour chart, on and on and on. And once again, <clears throat> right here. Okay, so for instance, if I had seen this right here, what I wait for is a retest of the newfound resistance. Let's watch this though. It's gonna blow your mind. Okay, so the market came up, right? It, it broke through support. And what it did? It retests on this wick right here. See it? That wick right there. That's when I would have got into my order. That's all I wait for when I'm actually getting the entry. If that doesn't happen, I'm not taking it. Um 
And that's, that's all I'm waiting for, is that a retest of new found resistance. That's, that's it. Okay, guys, let us apply the same principle using GBPJPY as an example. Okay, one, if you could remember, QBank said, always look at your weeks. Price always retest these weeks. 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 Okay. Secondly, after we've drawn, this is how actually, according to Q banks, this is how we draw support and resistance. You always make sure you look at your weeks. Okay. Secondly, he said price always retest this weeks. Okay. Like for example, seeing this level here, when price came, you can tell from the one hour time frame, right? From the one hour time frame, price fails to close above to trade. It's traded above this level this resistance level but what it fails to close up significantly so if you can zoom into the five minute time frame what happened price then broke down came again to test retest and shut down okay here as well this week here Remember, this is our support zone. This zone is our support zone. So we want to see if we can have an entry at this level by zooming in to the five minute time frame. Guys, this strategy work best. This is one of the best strategy I've ever seen so far. This strategy has made me tons of dollars. See, see here, here, you see. When price came here, it fails to, you see, for the first time, it fails to close. Second time, it traded below, but it fails to close significantly. Third time, until finally at this level, it broke. When it broke, it came for the retest. This is where QBank said, always make sure you wait for the retest. No retest, no entry. No retest, no entry. For me seeing this, price coming back to this zone, this support zone, what happened? Gonna place my order. You see, eh? if you can see, the market then rolled all the way to the downside. You see, this this is a typical example of what QBanks was saying, guys. This strategy works. You yourself, you can go and backtest it and see. Okay, okay, guys. Here is another example. As you can see this week, here, you see, this week, okay, this is our support, voila, and if we can zoom, if we can zoom in to the 5 minute time frame, you noticed, voila here on the five minute time frame you see price broke our support point as you can see it broke through and it came for the retest according to qbanks we always wait for the retest no retest no entry so as we can see price made a very nice retest to this level you see we enter and you see and later what happened as you can see price rolled to the downside nicely see also if you notice the same the same support here right the same support here this morning right at this point this is the current price this is the current price guys see how excellent this strategy is 
you see price came consolidated 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 and finally broke retest according to Cubanks when price according to Cubanks no retest no entry and what happened price retested this you see after it broke it came and retested this where we should be aiming to take our trade guys you see and currently if you would have take this trade right now by now you would have been profit right now you see here if you can see the resistance zone here here this is the resistance zone what happened price broke came test retest and showed up if would have take this trade guys right at this point right let's say you are risking like 30 pips see you would have just been a small drawdown yeah which is normal guys and look the news that came out this was a news actually the news that came out and just spike up guys this strategy work best look at this order support here at this support point what happened price consolidated consolidated you see there was no significant close and later price closed up significantly upon coming to test you see it came fake out finally and shoot up so guys this is just a typical example of what Cuban source saying with regards to support and resistance guys go and back test this strategy guys on whatsoever pair you are trading and if you find this video useful guys please like and subscribe by so doing it will help grow the channel thank you see you in the next video